Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And if you're a returning subscriber, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is another installment of What's New. What's New is a series we do over here on the channel where we talk about all things Loungefly and all new releases of specifically Disney merch, but basically all of the Loungefly pre-orders that are coming out during the month of March. Now, when I say pre-orders, that means that everything is available to order and it will be shipped during the month of March. So I'm going to link everything down below for you, all of my favorite small shops where you can order these, as well as with some discount codes too, so you can save a little bit of cash. Now this video is definitely supposed to be meant to be a resource, so if there are any uh, Loungefly releases that I missed during this month, be sure to leave them in the comments down below and also let me know what you will be ordering this month because I would love to know. So, okay guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's find out what is new. So we are gonna start with a massive, massive anniversary and I cannot even believe that this is an anniversary. We are celebrating the 20th anniversary of Finding Nemo. Yes, and we've got an exclusive Nemo cosplay mini backpack, which I think is so, so very adorable. It also comes with a matching wallet and what I love so much about this is it says go with the flow on the back of the backpack with Nemo and his lucky fin. And the interior has the 20th anniversary logo along with Nemo and lots of beautiful seaweed and coral and jellyfish. Now there is a second bag to go along with the 20th anniversary collection. And this is called the Bubbles Mini Backpack. And what is so, so cute about this bag are each of those three bubbles actually open up to be a pocket that has a clear front. I thought that that was such a clever, clever bag. And also they have a matching crossbody that also features that front pocket that has a clear um, a clear front and zipper so you can store all of the fun things in there plus a matching wallet. The thing that I think is so neat about this is that if you're a pin trader, I think this would be so convenient to put your traders in in the parks because I am always fumbling for my traders when it is time to trade pins and I love the convenience of all of the little pockets on this bag and also it has side pockets too which I love. Another really super cute element is on the mini backpack. The straps actually have bubbles on them, which I thought was a very, very cute touch as well. Now let's move on to Disney 100. So if you do not know, Disney Studios is celebrating their 100th anniversary. So we're getting an influx of all sorts of Disney 100 year anniversary merchandise. So we have a limited edition exclusive Disney 100 Platinum Mickey Mouse backpack. Now this backpack is so shiny. He is holographic like on his face and his ears. He has red featured on where his like pants would be. And then he also has really cute little hidden Mickeys down the backpack straps. And on the back, it says Disney 100, 100 years of wonder. The interior lining is super adorable. It's actually a it's actually Mickey, but what's really fun is it makes him look like he looks metallic. So it's almost like where his white should be, it looks like it is silver, which is really fun. This features silver hardware and also a really pretty silver Mickey glove zipper pull, which I think is so adorable. And then we also have the zip around wallet that features the holographic Mickey Mouse. The only thing that bothers me about this collection, it seems like there's a lot of purple that we have been seeing in the parks and for all things for the celebration. Why is this red? Why is this not purple? I swear to you, if this was purple, I would have bought both pieces immediately. Purple's my favorite color, and I'm just a little bit tired of the red, just to be fully honest with you guys. Let me know what you think about this bag down below. I just wish that the red was purple. And we also have a Disney 100 Mickey Mouse Club mini backpack, also crossbody and wallet. Now this features the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and the Mickey Mouse Club logo on the front pocket. 
there are side pockets. What I thought was really fun about this is this does have red details where the zipper is. The zipper um, and hardware are all silver on this one. On the back, it features Mickey Mouse playing the drum, which I think is actually very cute. And I think the interior lining of these bags is super cute. It has the traditional Mouseketeers kind of hanging out, doing different activities. Plus it says Disney 100, 100 Years of Wonder. So I do like what they have done with the interior of this bag. The crossbody is super duper cool. It looks like a drum. It actually has a woven element on the side of it to make it look like a drum. And it has a second zipper. And that is actually to hold the ears from this collection or any ears that you're wearing to the parks. It doesn't have to be just those ears. And I thought that that was a really neat touch. And the ears feature the Mickey Mouse Club original logo on the ears, which is super duper fun. Next, we have a couple of Star Wars bags that we're gonna go over first. We have the Queen Amidala. This is the cosplay crossbody bag. Now, this has really beautiful hardware of her crown right in the center of the crossbody bag. It's got gold hardware, half chain and half faux leather on the crossbody strap. And the crossbody strap is not detachable in case that matters to anyone. And the interior lining is different images of Queen Amidala with different crowns and outfits on, which is really neat. We also have the Phantom Menace final frames mini backpack and also wallet this bag features all sorts of different scenes it's actually almost like screen captures of the film itself placed onto the bag um i don't think i have it here on screen for you but what i do love i love me some jar jar binks and jar jar binks is on this bag and i live for him so it was really fun to see him the back of this bag is super beautiful with queen amidala it does feature gold hardware and it does have a really nice ship as the zipper pull and the interior lining says Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace. Next we have a Winnie the Pooh glow in the dark half a dream mini backpack crossbody and also wallet. Now what's really fun is we have the backpack where Winnie the Pooh is dreaming. The texture of his skin as well as his hat is different than the faux leather on the bag. There's lots of heffa lumps, different honey pots and also different blocks that spell out honey on the front of this bag. And what glows in the dark is actually the emblems on the front of the bag above Winnie's head. And the back of the bag is a watering can and Winnie kind of holding on to his umbrella and writing down the bag. The interior lining is all sorts of different honey pots and the heffalump bees, which I think is so cute. I love a heffalump bee, especially at Disneyland on the ride vehicles. I always love to see which little heffalump bee is going to be on the back of the ride vehicle. So that's always a fun thing uh, to look out for when you're going to Disneyland. The crossbody is super cute. It's actually the heffalumps as they are hot air balloons. And Winnie the Pooh is kind of dangling by a little chain and a honey pot off of the front of the bag, which I thought was so very clever. This one also glows in the dark and it does feature a heffalump on the back with that kind of like squirted honey on top of Winnie the Pooh. It's actually a really odd image. I don't know about it. Let me know what you think. Same interior lining <laughs> as the mini backpack. And this wallet I think is probably one of the cutest wallets I've seen in a long time. It features a heffalump bee, which I'm obsessed with, and then a Winnie sleeping and he's all curled up. You can really see the different textures within his outfit, which I think is so fun, but I love that scene, especially in the Winnie the Pooh ride. Winnie the Pooh ride is one of my favorite rides. So I really enjoy that they are coming out with this version of a Winnie the Pooh bag. Now we've got a really, really interesting line of bags. This is the Y2K collection and it features all sorts of different emblems that were very present in Y2K. You've got daisies with little hidden Mickeys in the center, smiley faces, Mickey gloves. You 
you've got a checkered print and the front of the bag features a large smiley face with hidden Mickeys as eyes, which is so fun. Uh, it does have side pockets. It features lavender accent details around the zipper. The interior is all black and white. Now the crossbody for this is just chef's kiss. I am obsessed with it. It's a crossbody bag and it looks like a yin yang. It's got uh, black and white and then the opposite uh, with the Mickey emblems on it. It also features a really fun checkered crossbody strap and the strap is soft and it looks like it would be so comfortable to wear and on the back of the bag it says oh boy which I think is so cute. This bag just really speaks to me and it's probably going to be coming home with me. There is a matching wallet that matches the mini backpack along with really cute smiley face hidden Mickey eyed ears, which is really fun. And then we are gonna move on to a couple of Stitch Shop releases. Stitch Shop is like a dress shop by Loungefly. It features lots of fancier apparel as well as uh, bags that are a little bit more intricate than your typical lounge fly bags. Now I will say with that does come a bit of a higher price tag. So just be aware of that. We've got a really super cute Stitch Shop Rapunzel's Lantern Glow crossbody bag. I think this bag is super cute. So you've got the lantern and yes, it does glow, which is very fun. And it features a little dangle off the side of the crossbody that happens to be Pascal, which I think is one of the best side characters in Disney. And then it has a really beautiful braided strap and the strap looks like Rapunzel's hair. It is blonde and it features all sorts of different flowers that are attached to it. Such a cute detail. I love that they did this. The interior lining is super adorable. It features Pascal and lanterns. This bag is so cute, but it's $110 and I just, I don't know if I want to pay that for a crossbody bag. That's just my personal opinion. I would love to know what you're thinking about Stitch Shop bags. I'm very curious. I don't, I don't think I have a Stitch Shop bag yet. Next Stitch Shop bag that they released is another installation of their Disney books. Now they've done this for villains, they've done this for princesses two times, and this is the classic Disney books that features Dumbo, Pinocchio, Bambi, Peter Pan, and Alice in Wonderland. So it just looks like a little stack of books. It is crossbody, it features really beautiful golden elements so the books are very very shiny and then it also features gold hardware the interior lining uh, really does it for me the interior lining it looks like a bookshelf and then it features all different emblems and some side characters from those classic books or films that are inside of that bag, which I think is really fun. Also, another little hidden gem is when you open the front flap, there is a library card in there and the library card features a like checkout of each of the different films and it has their release date on it, which is a very, very cool. Next, we're gonna talk about one of my most favorite collections from Loungefly and this is their convertible book crossbody slash backpack bag. I just love these bags. I think they're so beautiful. I have several of them and I love them. So they look like a book. When you open them up, it actually has a real storybook inside. It can be used as a crossbody or it can be used as a backpack. So there's lots of versatility that goes along with it. And the interior of this one has little meatballs and definitely like all of the little emblems and things from the Bella Note scene, including little raviolis and candles, and they just did such a cute job. I think this light blue color is really lovely. The last couple of books that they've had have been green, so I'm loving that they have brought a different color, and I am super excited to see what they come up with next. This also has a matching wallet. Next, we're gonna go into a Disney Fillings Color Block Triple Pocket Mini Backpack. Now, they did a mini backpack last month that featured all of the princesses. Well, now it's featuring all of the villains. I think this is really fun. It's got alternative animation, features a lot of rare villains. We've got Maleficent, Evil Queen, Cruella, Ursula, Jafar, Gaston, Captain Hook, 
Dr. Facilier Hades, and also Lady Tremaine. On the back, it's got Chernabog, which we barely ever see Chernabog, so that is super duper fun. The interior lining has all these really cool diamond shapes with all of the different villains, and this does feature a matching wallet. Now, what I love about the triple pocket backpacks, they are a lot more spacious than your typical mini backpack. So if you're looking for a larger bag, those are oftentimes ones that you may want to check out. Next, we have the scenes installation for this month. They've been doing the Disney Princess Scenes bags featuring backpacks, crossbodies, and also wallets each month. It's featuring a different princess. For the month of March, they're featuring Brave. And so Merida is being featured. There's a lot of different screen captures from different scenes from the movie. This, I think the zipper pull on this one is super duper cute. It features her three brothers as little bears, but they missed such an opportunity here. I am obsessed with Angus the horse in Brave. I think he's one of the most beautiful animated horses of all time, in my opinion, but he is not featured on any of these bags. And it kills me because I feel like he is such a big part of the film because she rides him often during that film. It's just a personal issue I have with <laughs> I would love to know which Disney horse is your favorite. Do you like Angus as much as I do? I just think he's so beautiful. But when I started looking through all of the scenes that they featured, I was like, where's my horse? Where is my horse lounge fly? Where's my horse? Now we're gonna move on to another one of my favorites and that is Wally. There's actually two bags that feature Wally, which is such a rare occurrence. And I'm very, very excited. This is the Wally backpack where him and Eve are riding in a tire down some what looks like sludge and Wally is holding the paddle. Eve is inside of a shopping cart and she also has a really nice umbrella that's shading her from the sun, which I think is so cute. On the back, there's a heart that features Wally plus Eve. And then the wallet is so very cute. It's the two of them sitting on a park bench kind of overlooking the cityscape during sunset. It's so precious. I think this bag is so cute. The interior features both Wally and Eve. And this bag I think is my favorite for the entire month. This is the Eve crossbody. I am loving the size of this passport bag crossbody. I think it is a perfect size. And what's really fun is this actually features a detachable little bag that when she um, she can open her little arms and the bag has the little boot with the plant and then on the back side it has a little light bulb with her little um, logo on the front and on the back of this little pouch. Such a cute bag. I definitely think this one is gonna be coming home with me this month just because Eve is such a hard find. Next, we're gonna be moving on to a Pink a la Mode exclusive. Pink a la Mode is a small shop, one of my very favorites. I also am a brand rep for them, so if you are looking to get some amazing fandom items at a discount, you can always use my discount. I will link their website down below as well. Now this is their Loungefly Minnie Mouse Oil Slick exclusive bag. The coloring, yes. This is the purple I was talking about that I wanted to see in Mickey. This is absolutely stunning. And also they do have a matching wallet, but the interior of this bag is so cute. It's Mickey giving a thumbs up and it features all sorts of different colors from purple to blue to green. It looks so pretty. And the hardware in this is also that like oil slick type of coloration. I have a feeling that this bag and that wallet is gonna be coming home with me because I just love it. So again, this one is a Pink a Mode exclusive, so you'll only be able to get that at Pink a Mode. And I do believe that these are in stock now, if I remember correctly. Now, if you're an NBA fan, they've got a ton of NBA mini backpacks with matching wallets. They've got Chicago Bulls, the Celtics, the Nets, the Knicks, the Lakers, the 76ers, and also the Golden State Warriors. 
So if you are interested in those, they do have fun matching wallets. Next, we've got another Harry Potter bag. Now this Harry Potter bag is a three pocket bag that features three of the films. And what is so fun is on the back, it's got a really beautiful golden Hogwarts emblem. And on the interior, it has all of the different houses crests represented. Again, this bag is going to have a lot more room in it because it is a little bit wider, a little bit taller and features multiple pockets. So if you're looking for a little bit more room, this is your bag. It features gold hardware and it does have a matching wallet. Now, next, this one is super fun. And we've got some Shrek bags and this one is featuring Fiona. This is the Fiona cosplay bag. I think this bag is so pretty. The front pocket actually features like a velvety material with beautiful flower embroidery. It also has golden metallic details. Her crown is there and she's looking so beautiful. I really, really like this and her the interior features an F and also Fiona and different fleur-de-lis and it is just such a cute bag. It's got golden hardware. On the back it says, are you my Prince Charming? And it's got Shrek posing, which I think is super cute. And the matching wallet has a really beautiful gold metallic interior and the little identification cutout is an F, which we love. We love a good identification cutout. Next, we have a Nickelodeon bag. This is a Blue's Clues bag featuring Blue's house. It has all of the different characters, salt, pepper, and I believe paprika, and it has mailbox, and it has it has all of the characters, which is just super cute. So you can actually open up the house and see inside of the house. And then on the back, it just features blue kind of standing up and being super cute. The interior lining features all of the different characters as well as the wallpaper as the background for the lining, which I thought was very clever. And what I love about this is that the wallet is mailbox and I am just, I think that is just such a cute touch. They did a great job. It looks like the flag on mailbox goes up and down, which is really adorable. And with that, that is all of the bags that are featured this month. I would love to know which bags you are going to be picking up. You'll have to let me know down below in the comments. And also, and as always, I appreciate you being here. Be sure to leave a comment if there are any bags that I forgot. And thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. TTFN, bye.